Hey projectors, Bang is here again. Uh, today's project is, I've got the Big Bertha trailer here and I got the, on the other car, I got trailer brakes fitted to the other car uh, and this thing's had a bit of a hard life so we're just gonna spend a bit of time on that, fix it up and it also, the car doesn't have the big charging, uh, the bit that big auxiliary one at the bottom there, those uh, the five auxiliaries. I don't need any of that. This I've got a solar panel fitted to this now to charge the battery. There's the solar panel. Uh, we'll do a bit of work on this too. This needs to be protected, but I just did that quickly the other day. So that uh, goes into the back there, comes from the battery to charge during the day. Because I'm never driving with this long enough, at a long enough time. So that goes through the charger there and just charges the battery for tipping the trailer for the hydraulics. So it's... It's not crucial, uh, I don't really need the charger from the vehicle or any of that jazz and it doesn't have like, I, it's just got the big service brake, that's all, that's, it's just got the big service brake, uh, that, that's all really needed, it's got the breakaway which, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fine, it's good, so, uh, we're going to start off with some tools here, yeah. and this might seem, this might seem like a simple project to some people, uh, but you know, this isn't for you. This is for everybody, right? You might be thinking to yourself, shit, mine's like that and I want to change it over or whatever. I've also had, I'm getting sick and tired of these plastic fucking things. This one's okay because it's pretty good quality. But some of the other ones that I've had, you turn around, they're broken or cracked or the two little things that come in half. That in there is always the case where it comes undone. Anyway, so. What I've got here is I was in down at our friends at uh, Super Cheap Auto the other day and that's this seven pin flat metal trailer plug from Cable KT and Accessories. Okay, great. It's made out of steel, cast it by the looks of it. I'm hoping that's gonna uh, do me a favor, but I don't know. We're about to find out. So, first thing is I'm gonna dismantle this thing here. Uh, and I'll just, you know, stand it. Uh, Phillips head. I'll oh, forever have a truck. Yes, if you do enough trailer work and you projects, you're forever repairing these things or fixing them or sp sp spreading the um, these uh, connectors back out. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute. Look at that, straight off. And that's what I'm talking about. Look at the shit fight that's in there. So all these are rusty. The wires are chewed out. Uh, that's all rusty. Now I usually spray a bit of, um, you know, this, that, and the other on there. So a uh, bit of WD-40 or whatever, what have you, a bit of electrical, whatever that stuff's called. So I'm just going to take this bit off here, uh, and then I'm going to do something in a second. I'm going to get my trusty phone and um, uh, take a photo of, of this just in case. So I'm taking a photo. Take a photo just in case we have to go backtrack and get, get back to where we are. However, generally, it's yellow and green are the two uh, outside ones, which is left and right uh, indicator. Uh, what's earth on this one? White is earth. Uh, red is stop, as you'd imagine, in true fashion. Uh, black is is what are these guys saying black is i can never remember this stuff off by heart oh that's your rear lamp okay for your light and then you've got the blue they're saying is for these guys is the service brake okay uh oh and uh that one there is reverse signal okay but we're not doing any of that all right and then this thing here uh, we'll have to have a look. They've got two earths or a return. Okay, just for the breakaway, so. Um, and then on our friend here, if we crack this open. All right, so that was pretty easy. <laughs> all right, this has no screws in it. I think it's all done by this, which I'm not that excited about. I was hoping to see two big screws here to screw this all together, but that's just not the case. So, we've got our, we've got the, we've got the gland there that needs to go onto the, on first and the lock and the lock 
um, the locking screw and then uh, that's the cable securing so it's not pulling so the cables not pulling on the actual fittings and then those two little pins okay I'm hoping this will be stronger it seems like it seems like it would be and we've got the seven pins so these guys are telling us one and four is right and left indicator yeah fair enough right and left indicator stop service brake auxiliary tail the right way for you guys there we go so it's, it's i mean it's pretty straightforward that's what we're going to do we're just going to switch it over all right we're going to be a little bit careful how we do it because you can get it wrong i've seen people cruising down the highway and the guy's <laughs> he's turning he's got his cars saying left and his trailers saying right you get a good laugh out of now i'm just going to open up this um auxiliary here at the back usually these have got like a power in them for charging that would be for charging that battery uh while we're driving along uh but that's not the case so here these guys are telling us auxiliary and battery and earth so battery supply that has got cobwebs all over it yeah battery supply or earth so battery supply uh, that's just power coming from the vehicle DC you know 12 volts to charge the battery or from the DC to DC whatever in your cab uh, earth like everything else and then we're going to trace we're just going to make sure we know where that uh, auxiliary wire goes but i, I got to be honest with you I think it's for all the jazz in the box but like I said I disconnected that because it was a whole heap of trouble uh, so I'm not going to get I'm not going to snip all these just straight away I'm just going to loosen them all off and just pull it out uh, just just the just in case, and I'm just going to trace those. It's, a, it's difficult going back through the trailer chassis, but um, you know, oh, geez, there in there. There we go. Oh, good catch, bangers. All right, so there it. I'll put those aside. And this is this is pretty much your standard uh, seven core trailer plug situation. Uh, trailer wire seven core trailer wire so we're just um we're not going to get too fancy with that oh you see there these are so these are so uh rusted in i don't have any choice but to snip those in. all right so we'll build our confidence so we've got our photo so good on us let's go we're just going to snip that snip all those up high so we don't have to re get rid of everything else break Service brake is blue. I'm just going to take another photo of that under here. How you going, Spud? There we go. Alright, I don't do this every day, so I don't have it off the top of my head. Earth return. Reverse signal. There's no reverse signal. Lamps, and away we go. There we go. Ditch that. I'm gonna get all this off here. You know, it's a trailer, right? What's the worst gonna happen? You're gonna get it wrong. You know. Just take it to the mechanic and go, mate. I've DIY'd it and I fucked it up. That's the whole idea of getting the DIYs. You just work on shit and you can fuck it up. If it doesn't, if it's not right. We'll just, you know, 12 volt, you're not gonna, you know, it's not the end of the world. Now, just gonna bring those other two back a little bit more. That was my Stanley knife. I'm forever losing those things. See my Stanley knife around, bud? That's all right, I use the gators. Stanley knife somewhere. It might be on the table in the shed. All right, there we go. So we're getting those out of the way. And now we're just going to get a little bit more of our, uh, a little bit more of our conduit exposed.
Let me get some fresh wires. There we go. Cut that off square. Snippity dip. There we go now. That off. Now, this is what our standard uh, our standard thing should be. They're kind enough to give us a diagram there. So we've got signal left is yellow. Red is stop. Red is stop. Blue is the service break. Yeah, there's our blue. Actually, we should this be going that way. That way it's easier. All right. So they're telling us yellow is the left indicator. Yep. Red is the stop. Blue is the service break. White is the earth. Yep. Black is the reverse light, which we don't have. You'll see them heat. There's heaps there zipped off in these things because they don't. A lot of trailers don't have reverse lights. Brown is the tail lights, and green is the right indicator. See that, Spud? Just like that. Can't be much easier. All right, lay them all out, and we'll fit it up. So uh, let's have a look here. Left indicator, it's yellow, so it's going to go like this. Yep. All right. So now we're going to strip a bunch of these off. We're just going to have a look in here. This is pretty. This is pretty beefy in there where that connection goes. So I'm going to double this over to give it a bit of um, a bit of squish in there. All right, they can come right up. So I'm gonna leave enough to double this over, which it's about 10 mil, it's about five and five mil. So I'm gonna, we can always cut more off. So I'm going to, this is, I think, one mil gauge. There's five, there's 10. Get rid of that and off she comes. That's gonna be beautiful. Not gonna do more, not gonna, I'll do them all and do it all in. Crimp, cut, cut, strip, black. You don't have to get too excited about getting all this in order because you can you know, you can look it up again. Alright. There we go. I'm trying to be careful not to cut any of the strands. Alright, these strippers are pretty good. There we go. Work our way through these, strip them off. It's important with these little wires and everything, we've really got to make sure they don't, one strand doesn't come out and end up touching the other one inside the fitting. So that's why I, now I pay a fair bit of attention and I get all these, I mean, it might, might seem obvious, but you need to, half the problem with these is they get a little earth or a fault touch where one wire or a few strands is like touching the earth or something's going on so you really got to be spend your time and make sure all those little strands are captured and wound together okay and there's no sort of half ones hanging out the end all right so we just twist them up twist them up okay just take your time twisty twisty get them all sorted there we go. Uh, just, you see there, if you get a nice, nice tight twist like that, you'll get every strand and you'll have no issues. It'll be a good, strong connection. So we're going to put, put that aside for a minute. We're just going to prep this thing up here. So I'm going to wind these out until they're just, the hole is almost completely open. So I'm just winding those out. See that? Okay. That's where the wire's gonna go, yeah? And then the screw clamps down on the wire. So I'm winding those out almost till the hole is completely, but you gotta be careful. You'll lose one of these little screws so I don't bring them out too far. I don't know anybody else the way of doing this, but this is the way I'll do it. I'm obviously no auto electrician, but I must've done a bunch of these. Jeez, I've done every trail I've had. I've probably replaced three or four of them. 
So just bringing those out, prepping them up. Now there's two schools of thought here. You can put that Y clamp on first, right? You can clamp that there with the Y clamp, but what I've found over time is, is that it, it is a bit of finagling and if it's locked in there, it gets difficult. What we are gonna do first, is put our locking nut on. Just being careful not to peel back any strands, okay? There's our locking clamp. Here's our, I probably might have done this first, but there's our gland. Right, again, just trying very hard not to peel back. You'll end up peeling back a bunch of strands when you do that. Right, that's a good fit. That's great. Okay, we're just going to put that down out of the way. Now, we're going to go in. What do we say, Spud? You read that out for me. Yellow. What's yellow, man? Yellow left. Indicator. And what number is it? One. Number one. All right, here we go. So we're going to double that over, we're just going to tidy up the end of that. We're going to tidy up the end. Snip that off. Oh, see that? That's a good example. And as you can see there, there's that one little strand that got, that came out. Now you could tin these, which means, you know, flooding them with a bunch of, um, uh, you know, bring, making all the strands uh, into one by uh, soldering it, right? But that's, you know, we're not doing that today. So, number one, left indicator, yellow, yeah? You beauty. Now yeah, we might, just gonna have to print that a bit more, there we go. You'll find that, I've found that double over, it just fits in there perfect. So now, we're just gonna do that one up. So I'm just making sure that there's no, I, I, I can only see the cable then at the end, the whole strip part is all the way in. Now don't get, don't get too crazy on this, right? Small screwdriver, that's the right amount of torque. And just, I'm, I'm really, I'm not even in here like this. I've just got my fingers there like that, just tightening it up. There's, you don't, it won't come out, right? Now, we're gonna go, what we needed to do was actually just strip a little bit more of this sheath off because it's just a bit tight for me to work the cable so I'm just gonna nip a bit of that like that there we go Jesus cranky old cranky old sheath on this thing I should bring out the sun a fair bit I just didn't have enough room, just didn't have enough cable exposed to be able to work the wires, good enough. All right, Spud, what is number two stop six is red, I reckon, is it? Yep. God. Beautiful. So twisting them up again. Just going to clean the end of that up. All right. There we go. Double him over. Give it a good... Send that into that one. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna do him up. And again, just finger tight. You don't wanna get, you go cranking down on these, you'll, you'll strip it, you'll have a bad day. Right, uh, service brake, blue. Yes, five. Copy blue, and five. Twist that up again. Tidy that up. Bend it over. There we go. A bit of a pre-bend on that one to get him in. Excellent. Beautiful. There we go. You can see what I'm doing there. I'll just wind up on the screw. Perfect. Right. Auxiliary. Well, let's go from the other end. Right indicator, green. Yes, four. I like it. Alright, that one's already pretty short. We'll just bend him over. Whoops. Get that one in. 
Beautiful. Here we mount. Okay, what is tail? Brown. Brown. Seven. Brown is tail. That's the. That's the. That's the um, lights when we um, when you got your parkers on, mm. as opposed to the brake light. Because the brake is the red one. Yeah. It doesn't want to go in there just. I'm just gonna undo that screw a little bit. Help it in. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, next. Black. What's black? Reverse two. Reverse two. Copy reverse. It's reverse and it's empty. We don't have that. We'll hook it up anyway so the wire's out of the way. Just in case. Oops. Crimping that a bit near our fingies. Yeah. There she goes. It's broke down. So it just stays there. Yeah. Just gonna get there's a little wire there exposed. There we go. That was one of those little strands that was hanging out. Could have been touching it. I mean it's gonna not a massive deal. Alright, lucky last. White. White is earth. Yep. Three. It's exciting. Tidy this one up. Where's the side cut? Let's tidy that up. <laughs> Bend it over. And she goes. Just slipping those in so that there's no, none of the wire is exposed. I'll do it up. Again, not too tight. Now see that yellow, the yellow there, there's some wire exposed. So that first one I did, I was just messing around with it. So I'm just gonna undo that a little bit, slip it all the way in and do it back up. So there's no, all I see is the colored cable disappearing into the socket and that's it. So now you, all you can see is the, the color disappearing into the socket. That's it, all right. Now we're gonna put our this is the protector, this is the cable protector here. So this is all the tension guard or whatever you call them. It's like a little, so we've got a few options here. I think it's meant to be, depending on the size of our cable. So our cable is pretty round. I think we're just gonna go with this, with this one. And it's gonna clamp down here like that. Actually that one is even, a bit wild that one nut we're gonna go with this one it's got a check out of it, it seems to be gonna be a good fit all right little world's littlest machine screw <laughs> <laughs> wait up doing that to us whoa got the shakes trying to get that started there we go that's that one started this little fiddly stuff that big old sausage hands <laughs> There we go. All right, and that's going to stop. That's going to, if someone, if this gets pulled on, it's going to pull. It's going to pull the cable first, as opposed to pulling on the wires themselves. Just doing that up. Get a fair bit out of this one. There we go. Yep, beautiful. All right. Top on. Gland first. That gland in there. There we go. Wander up. That seems like a good unit. Tight but not too tight. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright. Now we're going to test her up. Alright, we'll leave all that. We'll go test it. We'll go get the car and we'll, we'll test her up, eh? It's rubbish in the bin. Okay, we're going on our friend the car here. So here's our plug under here. Now, if you if you go to use your trailer and it's not and the lights aren't working all of a sudden or they're intermittent, a lot of people know this. A lot, some people don't. But these uh, have a spread a certain distance apart to uh, to put a bit of pressure on to make the connection. If if uh, 
if that ends up being the case, what you can do is, and these, these end up getting close together, you'll need a smaller screwdriver than this, like a jeweler screwdriver or a sharp knife, and you just wedge it in there and spread those apart again. Not, not too far, because you'll snap one off, but just, just enough to make it so that that's just slightly bigger than the hole that goes into it puts a bit of pressure on it. That'll also stop it falling out as well, you get a really good connection. So, I'm gonna plug this in, this is the moment of truth. All right. Buddy, do you wanna go and get the lights on? That's a, good, that's a good news story, and we're gonna go for a drive now and um, test that for real. Uh, I'm actually just going to chop these for now. Before I, I stop misplacing my side cutters. Uh, so that was to charge the battery, okay? We don't need any of that. Um, and this one, uh, I still have a lightning, can't work out what that was. I think it was, um, yeah, something. Anyway, uh, we'll just wrap them up for now. Stick them in there. We're going to have to test drive, and when we come back, we'll, you know, just going to make sure the brakes actually work, you know, because it's a new brake controller in this car, so that's the other that's the other reason I'm fixing all this up for good, so. Uh, we'll get this hitched up, we'll take it for a spin, and make sure she's A-OK. -okay. So we don't need these two, but I'm not going to, uh, you know, get too crazy. I'm just going to snip them off and put them up and put them back, put them back on the inside. I'm just going to separate these two uh, and tape them separately just so that they're um, you know, not exactly sure what's on the other end. We couldn't bother doing that today, so we'll do that another day. It's definitely for the, um, you know, that charging uh, situation, which we're not doing anymore. I disconnected that in there and I put it, um, uh, I put it uh, on that little solar job telling you this before so I'm not getting crazy here just going to tape these up tape that up tape that up tape this one together with it um, tape 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 never have too much tape I think that's the rule isn't it so we're just gonna I'm just gonna tuck that in there like that Take that around there, yep, yeah. good man, yep. Yeah. Ah, yeah, not too much. Snipping, okay. good man, yep, yeah. thank you. Take that up. Let's keep that all together while we're... Yeah. One day we'll come back and make a plan for it. There we go. Put that back in there. And that's gonna be nice. That's gonna tape up pretty nice right up there. And I'm okay with that. That, that you know, that's good, that's good connection. So you've got more of a time. There we go, that's better. Nice bud, another length of tape if you, if you please. Yeah, where's the side cutters? Up here, Dad. Yeah. Right, one job. <laughs> oh. The side cutters are <laughs> getting an optic fly, aren't we? Well, yeah. One more, and I'm gonna go pretty tight there, just so it you know, sits in nice and snug. And get a nice bit of tape action going. Oh, actually, Spud, leave it on there for me, will you? Leave it on the roll. Yeah, because I'll go there. I'll go this way this time. I'll go with the fold. There we go. Get it, get it around, get a bit of tension on it. Here we go. Around. Around. That is actually going to tape up onto that cable pretty nice. Ooh, now tape there. Come back. Well. So, uh, this might be about it. When you finish your tape, get it on a really nice flat bit. Side cutters. side cutters and push it down. You'll get a much longer lasting tape tail if you do that as opposed to just ripping it and 
carry it on. All right, there we go. So, look at that little paper. So, there you go. The metal trailer plug seven pin flat plug ktcables.com.au. Uh, I reckon that's that's pretty good. Uh, I'm happy about the increased quality. Uh, I had that little challenge where we had to go and actually wire it up how old mate had it before, which <laughs> duh. Because um, for whatever reason, he's the way he's used the cables. That's how it is. But we've tested. We took it for a test drive. The brakes work. Um, I know this might seem simple to a lot of people, but um, you know, just that's what's inside these things. Have a bit of confidence. Have a go. Like I said, that trailer plug. If your trailer lights aren't working, sometimes not. Sometimes you've checked the bulb and everything or the LEDs. It's these have come together, and you need to spread them apart just a little bit so that either side, so that either side of one of these, is making contact with the inside of, of what's on your car, the female end. All right, all right. Well, that's today's little project. That wasn't much, but um, you know, you'll start somewhere. All right. Happy projecting. Hey team, bangers here again. Uh, just a uh, follow up on the project I just did before uh, the other day where I changed our trailer plug over. Uh, this is, I well, liked it so much I went back and got another one straight away because I've got this old banger trailer here. This is just uh, well, the old bitch trailer. Uh, but this is what I was talking about. You get this, this, you get this shit. These things just, they just don't fucking last. This one's even got a neat little holder that you put it in. There's the holder. Uh, and it still gets damaged. Well, fair enough. So, I thought I'll show you is, um, what I did with the last one. It was a bit tricky because it was on the big trailer, but this is simple. If you've got a trailer like this, this is a seven pin plug trailer uh, connection. Uh, it, they're really standard. This is the this is the steel this is the steel metal trailer plug from uh, Cable Accessories KT Cable Accessories. Uh, connecting through innovation yeah great it's a KT744M okay they seem pretty good it's good your cheat sheet diagram on the back there it'll take 12 or 24 volts so bang I love an easy to open packet put our diagram there throw that away got our our the gland follow-up got our gland in there and these come I was hoping for a screw this will screw together but um, that's not the case. We've got our gland there. Just be careful in here, there's a little rubber grommet inside there as well. They can fall out, we'll put that aside. Uh, the back cover, got the cable securing tabs there when we get down to it. Uh, and then our business end. All right, so very straightforward. Now I'm gonna take this piece of junk off. These, ju I don't just, I mean, they're good, okay, I guess, but they just, they fall apart. They don't, they don't seal real well. They just, they flex, they break, they, they crack. So good on them. We're gonna, we're gonna fuck all that off. Now, as of course we always do, we've got our handy brain on us. We'll take a photo just in case. A little bit of sunlight there. All right, great story, just so we can work it out later on. But this one's, this is pretty straightforward, right? So, we'll put it there so hopefully you can see it like that, right? I'll come around, I'll come around a little bit. So you can see, so you can see there. So that's that's where I'm at there. So, it's on to direct to correct, correct with. Green is the right indicator, yellow is the left indicator, red is the stop light, uh, blue is the service brake. This trailer doesn't have brakes. White is the earth and brown is the tail light black would be the reverse light or auxiliary we don't have that either so that's where we're at pretty straightforward so i'm going to get the side cutters uh, and just get straight into it i'm actually going to side cut these right off and go for a fresh connection right a fresh uh what's his name now this is pretty thin gauge wire right i'm just turfing that now i am just gonna i am just gonna come up with a just a littlest bit more um sheath there to to um, uh, just the littlest bit more uh, sheath there, so I've got a bit of room to work with and a bit of fresh wire, right? So I'll snip that off there. 
Troubling everybody. Right. There, so I've got the wires there like that. Right. And I'm going to uh, check that, that that's where I want that sitting in there like that. All right. That's going to get clamped there. The wire's going to get clamped. And then that's where the wires are going to go. So if they were sitting like that, that one was sitting like that, about there is where I'd want to cut those two. So I'll say, yep, no worries. Whoops. It's like cutting hair. You cut the first one. It's about where I want it. Go up and cut the rest. And now I've got my little all my little wire strippers so these are my favorite um universally universal hand whatevers now i like to get into a bit of it like that whoops one too big cut the insulation strip it off i've got these type because i'm left-handed and the fancy sets up for our right-handed friends only so I'm just stripping these. I'm stripping them long because I'm going to double them over. And I'm I'm being careful. I'm being careful here not to cut any of the strands. All right, that's the last thing we want to do. Oh, it's actually that one. There we go. We want all strands possible, and then we don't want any any strands just hanging out willy nilly touching each other. So we're going to twist these up. Twist, 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 twist. There we go. Twist, twist, twist. And I'm just looking for any, if there's any strands that have been, you know, if I've cut through half the wire. Okay. Twist, twist, twist. This might seem simple to some people, but, you know, to others, they've, they've, they've sitting there going, geez, I've got to pay God to do that. And it's just this simple, right? It's easy. All right, so there we go. They're all pretty neat. Just going to double those over and I just... Even these trailer plugs, they're pretty tame. They just do it with your hands. Or well, you can crimp that with a set of pliers if you really want to, but don't get too, don't get too crazy. That's all I'm doing, bend them over. Bend them over. Some of these we might want to get with the pliers. And we're just making sure we're not, we're not, that's a great example. See there? See that stray wire hanging out? We've really got to make sure that's down and in when we put it in and it's not hanging out. All right, you can tin these, which, which is the process of heating them up and putting solder on them, like I said before, but that, that's not helpful in this case. It's just, it's, it's a bit of overkill. All right, here we go. So, got our cheat sheet here. Uh, green, is the, green is the right indicator, so green. And on here, that's this one. So this is gonna go like this. Oh, what I'll do first is, Okay, I don't have a giant. Shit, bloody coffee's everywhere. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm opening these up just so that they, they that screw is clear inside, so the whole tube is free. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the ones that I need. I need yellow. I need green. See, so I'm just opening up those screws. So I've got maximum to work with. I'm going to need the red. Wait, which side's that on? Stop. No, it's reversed for me. Stop. Blue. I don't have a blue service. I've got a white, which is the earth in the middle. And you'll note here, you'll note on these, you'll think to yourself, oh, one of these is slightly misaligned and it's always the earth. That's for two reasons. One, to differentiate the earth and two, to, so you can't get, you can't plug this in the wrong way you just you can't you can't plug it in the wrong way so you get that that's what that's for okay um black not interested uh brown not interested one two three four five one two three four which one are we missing we've got the earth there now uh don't wind these screws all out you'll lose one of them uh what are we missing brown white black brown what's brown tail light yeah of course tail from the left. There we go. Number seven. Very good. Sure, there's some sort of universal wiring diagram for all this, but you know what? Good on us. 
we're here doing it DIY, that's what we're gonna do. Do it yourself, all right? And like I always say, if you fuck it up, take it into the shop and just tell him. Mate, I was DIY. Now, one thing we can't forget to do is we're just gonna scooch all these back together and I probably should have done this before I we're doing this other, we're gonna scooch this off, okay? Disturb some of the wires there. Scooch this one off. And there we go. Just be gentle, you know, just be gentle with your wires. Don't don't go jamming stuff on here willy-nilly because you'll end up spreading all those wires. And that, that's what brings you undone, is those little wires, yeah? Okay. So now we're cheating again. We've got yellow goes yellow red let's do those two first get those over there yellow red left and stop which is this way uh, yellow and stop now yep. yellow can go in there and get crimped down now don't go berserk with the screwdriver okay they're only little screws for a reason right uh, you should be if you're in here like this with all your, we're getting your whole guns on there, you'd, you'd, you'd room and you'll crack it or you'll wreck it, right? Okay, now we've got the red, making sure all our wires are down and tight. So I'm just getting those others out of the way there, like that, as you can see. Slip that in there, hold it into position, and in we go with the screw. Again, you can feel it. it it'll want to just the screwdriver will want to jump the screw. Okay, just don't don't go bananas. All right, and then um, earth's in the middle. That's the white. Right, get that one all situated there. In she goes. Get out of the way. Okay. See, I doubled them over. This is this could be for big 24 volt, whatever. But you know, you get the idea. And then that number seven is the service of the tail there. The uh, yeah, the tail lights. Just had a rogue little wire there, just gonna get that one in there so they don't touch each other. That's usually the main fault with this sort of stuff is um, you've got one of those wires, little wires hanging out. Okay. And then green is the other tail light. Ah, uh, is the other blinker, sorry. Or turn signal. Love it, it's proper names for stuff and no one uses them. Alright, beautiful. Now you can see here that brown wire, see that little wire hanging out? Okay, that's what we don't want. Okay, I'm being a bit slack there, so we're gonna redo that one. Gonna bring that wire out. Have a discussion with ourselves about why it's why the, the way it is all right we'll wind that up wind that up and that over there we go there's a stray strand in there that's what the problem was okay, get that all the way up in there and then we're gonna crimp down on him beautiful now we can put on our Cable, this is like a securing lug that stops, is the, is the pulling, the pulling will be on this. It will crimp the wire here, so you're not pulling on these if it does get pulled, just to, to secure the wire. Now, no, I think it's, I think we're gonna use this flat one here, okay? That'd be for something a bit bigger. A bigger gauge, we use that on the other one. Put my little machine screws there. Flip that over, hold it down, the world's tiniest screws, as usual. We'll get that started, nice and gentle. Da. Just gonna concentrate on getting that one screw started before I really... Oh, well, that's perfect. There we go, that's good. Put that on. Gonna check all the connections, make sure the wires don't pull out. Yeah, that's beautiful. Put that together. Make sure it's gonna seat. Run the gland in. Putting that in where it needs to be. Putting those in there. 
winding up the glam follower. Tight but not too tight. That's great. So that's taking that gauge of wire too. That's excellent. All right. Hopefully we'll have a bit more success with these. I think they're good. They feel, feels good. They feel sturdy. You know, but they're still lightweight. Just going to put a bit of tape on this situation here. I don't know what the story is there. Just, I think this trailer's just old. Been pulled and nicked and scraped there somehow. It's going to start in the middle. Come down. And then start going back up. Whoops. Double whoops. And then come back and finish off in the middle. And when you've got an exposed one like this, cut your electrical tape, you'll get a far superior um, stick down, and then it will, might want to wind off if you stretch it and break it. That's where you get into trouble. Huh. Classic. There we go. All right. Hope that helps, people. I know this, I know. There we go. I hope this helps, people. Pardon me, I know that, um, you know, a lot of this stuff seems simple to people, but if you're sitting there thinking, shit, that plug is rooted, this might be the motivation for you to go to the shop, go and get one and buy one and put it in. All right, so, again, for the players at home, again, for the players at home, this was the cable KT accessory, uh, ktcables.com.au. I don't, I can't remember how much these were. I think they were like, more than 20 bucks, but less than 40, put it that way. But I think it's going to be worth it. Um, uh, seven pin rated, 15 amps, 12 volt. Yeah. Durable alloy. Great. All right, that's the project.